uh, you call it a cancer cover-up, as I think is what you call it. Why mm -hmm. do doctors go along with that when they, I mean, everybody's been touched with by cancer. Doctors have family members that have been touched by cancer, right. but, you know, it's still the same protocols. This cancer cover-up then, talk about that. Why do doctors go along with it? Because, number one, doctors are the most brainwashed people on the planet. Doctors have been through 10 years of intense drug therapy or dr drug training. And so they're, especially in the cancer industry, and I'm not saying that all doctors are bad. I'm not mm -hmm. saying doctors are bad at all. I'm just saying in the cancer uh, area, they've been taught bad protocols. Now, as far as trauma, as far as, you know, you look at little babies that are born premature and now we can save them. Mm -hmm. there, we, we've made so many advances in medicine that it's amazing. So I'm not down on the whole medical institution. I'm not down on modern medicine at all. I'm just talking specifically on cancer. I mean, if, if somebody came in the door and shot me with a shotgun, I'm going to go to the emergency room. I'm not going to go take an herb, <laughs> okay? So trauma medicine, we're, we're light years ahead of where we were 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of areas of medicine where we've, we've taken big strides. Cancer, we haven't, and it's because the protocols that are taught concerning cancer are drug intensive, and we've already gone as, over as to why they're drug mm -hmm. intensive. But the doctors have been taught that. So doctors that are cancer specialists have been taught drug intensive treatment. They just don't know any better. Now, you'd think that once they get out of school and they start treating patients with these, these protocols that, that really don't work, that, that something would go on, so a light would, would turn on. And it does with a lot of doctors. And I know many doctors that used to be conventional and now they're natural. Hmm. Some of them get caught up in the almighty dollar. And they know that what they're doing is not healing, but they still do it. Hmm. Uh, there was a survey that was done at the McGill Cancer Clinic in Montreal back in the early 90s, and they interviewed 64 oncologists, and they asked them if you were diagnosed with cancer or with, if your, your loved ones were diagnosed with cancer, would you do chemotherapy to treat it? And 58 said they wouldn't. 91% hmm. of 64 oncologists said no. They know. They know. But they still continue to do it. Why? They may, they may have a big mortgage on their house. Mm -hmm. they may, their, their wife may enjoy their lavish lifestyle. They need that money to keep coming on. And if you mm -hmm. come out against it, you're going to be ostracized and blackballed, and you're going to be looking for a job the next day. Because believe me, it's happened before, and it'll happen again. They will not allow you to question the protocols. And they will not allow you to treat uh, cancer with natural medicine. So uh, why do doctors agree to it? Why do they continue doing it? Some of them are ignorant, some of them are, are hooked on the money, and the ones that, that have the integrity, that when they learn about it, they get out of it. And I know many doctors that have done that. Mm -hmm. And believe me, the money ain't quite as good in herbals as it is if you're a, a conventional oncologist mm -hmm. at a major hospital.